In one of my recent videos, I made a Lamborghini out of cardboard. And I had no idea what to do with it after the video was done, so I put it on Trade Me. And a couple days ago, I sold it. For $10,000. Now to the 22-year-old who's combined it's smart it's to and baby to drink and and decided he built one himself. A cardboard Lamborghini. Thank you to the guy for the to join us in the studio. A nice and reliable, you can't be here on time. Good to see you, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, it's just parked out front, actually. Yeah, it's, it's not raining, is it? <laughs> no, I hope not. Yeah, no, you don't have to rain, you have trouble getting home. Uh... It's the next morning after I posted the auction, and Tasman just sent me this. But this is one better, it actually looks like. A Lamborghini. I mean, if you paint that up from a distance, no one would ever know. <laughs> It was on the radio. How crazy is that? It, I just posted it yesterday. And last night before I went to bed, my mum found this article on the New Zealand Herald about the cardboard car. Dang, I didn't expect it to have, get this much traction. All right, let's check what the bid's up to. After one night, $500. It's up to $500. Yeah? There's a lady from Trade Me. Oh, really? <laughs> Ruby, sorry. Hello? Yeah, not bad. Just kind of chilling. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that'd be sick. Thanks. Bye. You won't believe it. That was just a call from Trade Me, which is the company that I'm using to sell the car. And apparently some TV show wants to do an interview with me about it. <laughs> what is going on? Alright, so the news is coming to my place in four days. And this might be my only time on television. So you know I got a dress for the occasion. But if we can be quiet together on the radio. This will be my first time on the radio. And I'm chilling here in bed because I just woke up. Well firstly we've got to say congratulations. It's damn well amazing but what made you do this? Gangsta rap made me do it. Hey so I see it's at 815 at the moment. Is it? Dollars, yeah! Oh right. I haven't really checked this morning, I just woke up. A few moments later. Hey! It's 1224 and it's just reached a thousand dollars. Look at that! So sick. Not only did I get contacted by one TV show, I got contacted by a bunch of TV shows, news articles. Don't fill our silence with your father's quotes. Our margins overflow with notes. Brevity. I love how so many of the articles managed to use a picture of me with my peen shirt and space Jesus in the background. <laughs> Epic. Radio stations. And what if it rains, David? What are you gonna do then? Oh, put it back in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and even got called an Australian on an Aussie TV show. Up next, the unique project that's turned a young Aussie into an international superstar. A young Aussie? <laughs> it's now the next day, and the auction's at... $2,000! Oh my god! Let's see, who's bidding $2,000? It's the same guy that bid $1,050. He outbid himself. He's like, yeah, I'm already winning this bid, but I could be winning it by more. Laura, Hi. what should I say on TV tomorrow? Hi. Oh, hey. Well, apparently. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> apparently, I've never been online. Yeah. TV before. The TV guy should be here in 30 minutes, but I thought I need to try and make myself look cooler for TV. So last night, I went out and rented this cool sports car. To hopefully be in the background and convince people that I'm cool. Look at car. I am cool. I thought since I have the car, might as well go show my friends. I have seven sharp and the project coming to my house to film the cardboard Lambo tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Buzzing. So I went and rented a cool car. Oh my god, you did not. <laughs> to put in the background. You did not. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, dude. oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the smallest car. <laughs> We're gonna go pick up Sean from work. He has no idea I have this car. Hi, Sean. Uh, what is this? This is a car. 
It is a car. Wow, I have my work colleagues in watching me right now. <laughs> David messaged me telling me to come out at like midnight on a Monday. <laughs> what is it? It's an R8. You're joking! <laughs> what the f? That's freaking me! Holy! Oh my goodness, David. What the f? <laughs> 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 I actually got quite scared. Oh, you should feel my pulse, eh? Hey? Whoa, that was. Hey, can I get your number? Excuse me, girl. Excuse me. I, I have a boyfriend. No, it's okay. I have an Audi R8. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm pretty flippin' nervous. Like, I haven't felt this kind of nervousness in a while. Hey? Yeah, good. How are you? Lucky he's not writing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> there we go. Two of the shows I did were direct competitors, Seven Sharp and The Project. Both shows airing at prime time on different channels. I was out here working with Coke and Pepsi. But here's the cool thing. The shows aired at 7 and the auction ended at half past 7. So during both of the shows, they were just promoting the crap out of the auction, which I think helped it out quite a lot. So if you were in New Zealand watching TV at 7pm on the 25th of May, you might have seen me. Also, I made a second channel to post all the full TV appearances, so if you want to go check those out, the link's in the description. Just got an email from another TV show that wants me to be on tomorrow morning, I think in the studio, live. And apparently, I've never been on live television before. We just got to the studio where they film live TV. Here it is right here. It's kind of scary, because it's live. <laughs> I don't want to have a years ago moment. <laughs> years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to... Put me in the. Oh, this is a lie. This is it. This week has been crazy. Are you this morning? Yeah, good. We're waiting in the green room. I got the TV on. That's where I'm gonna be in a second. And then you've got your hand moves and gestures. That's right. From it. I watched a video on what to do with my hands on TV, and they said every now and then just hit them with one of these. <laughs> so then I made a cardboard. Oh. <laughs> How long did it take? Three weeks. Oh. <laughs> YouTuber David Jones joins us in the studio. Nice and reliable, you can't get here on time. Good to see you, good morning. <laughs> good morning. The, the shape is so brilliant. It's so lifelike. Well, how did you get the shape right? Um, pretty much. Oh. It wasn't as nerve wracking as I thought it would be. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's always shorter than people think. I didn't get to see all my jokes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, holy crap. It's at $8,000. Someone's actually paying $8,000 for this thing? Have you right. seen what the trade me auction's on? I saw it was 8,000. Yeah. Wow, well, we, and tonight is the night where it's gonna be a That's right. Next TV appearance. Look at this camera setup, dude. It makes you look broke. <laughs> I'm gonna close up of him getting cross eyed trying to put the same. Uh, it's like a close beak. Yeah. Oh, it's there. So you need to talk to the camera? Okay, so it's like. Like it, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, we're gonna cheer and laugh every time you say something. In front of a live <laughs> Like an old Disney show. Oh, so many glue sticks, man. <laughs> Another TV appearance. Yes, another day, another TV appearance. David Jones and his mates film almost everything they do. I've been making videos all my life. Cardboard's a very nice and cheap material, I guess. So it's very easy to work with and all that. 53 minutes until the auction ends, and the auction's currently at $8,370. If this thing gets over $10,000, like, that's insane. This has probably been the craziest week of my life. This could be it. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> that's my video on the TV. $9,420. It might go over 10000 yeah. It closes in 11 minutes. And now we're joined by the cardboard craftsman himself, David Jones. I mean, are, you are your shoes made out of cardboard? 
Oh, wait, I completely forgot. That's right. You see that? <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> wow. Getting behind the wheel of a Porsche or a Lamborghini is out of reach for most of us. That didn't stop the teenager in our next story. Teenager? I guess they never did ask me my age. Right, can you pop the yeah. bonnet or just have a look at the engine? No, that's the front, man. That's the. Oh, Lambo's in the back. Yeah, engine's in the back. Can you pop the back? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jones is holding for his cardboard Lamborghini that has just closed at Carpool Car sold for $10,000. $10,000. We've done it. Yes. <laughs> it sold for $10,420. I, I still don't believe it. But that's not the end of the video. There's still one big problem that needs to be solved. David, it's Jeanette and Robert from The Breeze. Hey, how are you? Good, I went great. Good, man, good, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Amazing, eh? How surprised are you that that car went for over 10 grand? That's crazy. That's more than the car that I currently drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of people's cars, I reckon. Great, great. Yeah. You smashed it. It's gone to someone in Christchurch, right? How, how do you even get it there? Do you flat package? <laughs> I honestly have no idea yet. So the guy that bought the car, absolute legend, Dean, what the dog? lives in Christchurch and I live in Auckland. And if you don't know anything about the geography of New Zealand, Auckland and Christchurch are very far apart. There's two islands, there's the North Island, there's the South Island. I'm on the North Island, Dean's on the South Island, so we have to somehow get the cardboard car from all the way up here to all the way down here. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily for us, Dean actually has good connections with the shipping company Main Freight, so they just sent a container over to the house. But before the container arrived, we had some stuff to do to the car. So the guy that bought the car actually wants to put it on display in a shop, and the windscreen's kind of busted. Since he's gonna put it on display, I think I should probably fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna put in a new windscreen. I've already bought some plastic. This is the plastic here. It's pretty thin, because the plastic we used on the original windscreen was really heavy, and it kind of just weighed down the cardboard. Only problem is the plastic's not tinted, so we went out and bought some window tinting stuff. I was waiting on you to come through. I want to kick it in a fun out the cool. I got no more time for this bullshit. You and me, baby, we are good fit. I was waiting on you to come through. I want to kick it in a fun out the cool. I got no more time for this bullshit. We're just putting a big frame inside of the car. So when the truck picks it up tomorrow and it's transporting all the way down New Zealand, it doesn't just shake and fall apart. If you don't remember, in the last video, I made an owner's handbook for the Cardborghini. The one that's in the video is just kind of a placeholder because I actually got one professionally made. Package secured. This looks a lot better than the homemade one I had. And instead of having funny penis drawings on the inside, it has the whole creative process along with some early designs of like logos and stuff like that. With me. And now I think you're stuck with me, but you don't seem to mind it. You always see the good in me when I can never find it. So I'm always going out my way to make sure that you're okay. You make my life divine when I'm feeling like it's disarray. I appreciate it. Here's what, what the frame looks like, which is what we've been doing for the past four days. It's got all of this supporting it. The car's never had this much support. It's actually pretty solid. And when I said we've been doing this for the past four days, I actually didn't do a whole lot of this. This is like all my dad, so I can't really take the credit for this, but I cut some of the wood. The car is done and ready to be shipped. I think they're coming to pick it up tomorrow. The shape is actually really nice now. This whole part on the side, this part's flat. But before we put the frame in, that part was just sloping down. I was waiting on you to come through. I want to kick it in the front of the cool. I got no more time for this bullshit. You and me, baby, we are good fit. <laughs> the truck should be here. Any moment now to come pick this thing up. I'm honestly kind of sad to see it go. This is how it's going down to Christchurch in this container. How far away? Here it goes. The Cardboghini is on its way to its new owner. Au revoir, Cardboghini. Au revoir. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's also the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh wait, I have one last thing to do, hold on. Like I said in the previous video, all the money that the car made is going straight to Starship Children's Hospital. Here we go, $10,420.
Done. Donated. That was actually all staged. I donated the money a few days ago, but I didn't record it because I did go through a bunch of bank stuff. But here's an email I got back for them, so I still don't believe what's happened. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash thumbs up, smash subscribe. Yeah, come back for the next video. Dropped a piece of cardboard. Oh wait, that wasn't cardboard, that was the key to my 2021 Lambo Honda. How are you two making those noises? Oh, that's easy. All you need is a box. And imagination. Imagination.